when Chiang Han was born, the matron was saying, well, I have to tell you that your son was born a Down syndrome. That was about the first time that we heard of that term. He said, well, Down syndrome, a person who has slow learning capability. By the time he reaches 12 years old, he cannot learn anymore. Well, that was something very devastating for us. I accepted him because he is the product of our love. Uh, he's my son, so I accepted him. My wife took a, a longer time. I feel uh, very unhappy and depressed. And uh, what have I done? Why am I given a Down syndrome? The pediatrician told me, uh, Mrs. Wong, the day that you smile, it means you have accepted him. If you come every time, you cry. You still have not accepted. You are spitting yourself. Because there's no point you ignore or you cry. It takes me three months. Then I realise that my dad said, you know, he may be something special, but he may be a down, but he may give you a different type of happiness. sister bought him a laptop, then he played on his computer and laptop. He has a, a lot of toy cars, you know, uh, hundreds of them. He play and then give the toy cars name. He also loved uh, playing CD songs. You know, special needs children like Down syndrome, they have got distinguishing features. Uh, uh, which at that time they call it mongoloid eyes, you know, slanted eyes upward. They are walking, their movement uh, very, uh, what you would say, not, uh, I mean, it's very floppy and very clumsy, you see. And they would walk with very uh, heavy steps at times. And their speech is uh, slurred, very slow. Every day at noon, nine-year-old Chuck Hong comes home from school. Chuck Hong is an educationally subnormal child. He was born with Down's syndrome, a genetic disease that causes mental and physical impairment. For the first three years of his life, Chuck Hong was very weak. You know, during those times in 1980, in those times, people were not so used to seeing special needs children. They will pull their own children away. Don't go near him. We felt very, you know, it's very hurtful. Huh? Especially, I mean, pulling away is one thing. Especially when you hear remarks like, uh, don't go near, otherwise you'll be stupid. Or, or something, uh, he's an alien, you know. Some remarks like that. Then it is very hurtful. And parents with normal kids, when they score the special needs children, we really feel hurt and angry. But as the years go by, I think there were more... Uh, awareness through government pr uh, uh, promotion. Okay. And even until today, uh, there are some people tell me, why he still can't count? It's not that he can't, he really can't. We have tried 
it's not that easy. So, uh, without the support group, you have the mainstream. People always ask you, why you never teach this and why you never teach that? But they don't understand that. Not everything they, the kid can learn immediately. It takes time. No water. You need to wait up. Okay. Thank you. Wait up. Wait up. Wait up. Wait up. Wait up. Wait up. Hmm. Ten. Ten what? Ten cent. Ten cent. Now, thirty cents plus another. How much? Forty cents. Twenty cents, right? 40 cents. So, how much? Forty cents. Huh? Forty. Thirty 50. in the head? Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Ah, fifty. We find that our character changed because he actually taught us to be more uh, patient because uh, we were quite, uh, I mean, hot-tempered, uh, to, to say. Uh. Bring him to a lot of activities who expose him that he likes uh, <clears throat> dancing and music. Now, way back in 2005, a group of us parents with uh, Down syndrome babies we form a group called The Artists for the benefit of people with special needs to participate. The main activity was in dancing, choir, singing class, K-pop, uh, computer learning. Well, he's very happy now. He's dancing, uh, doing what he likes. So my husband and I, we always follow him and I think we are happy because I wouldn't have gone to a lot of places. It's a different side of, of our life. Lah. Well, someone asked us whether we would like to join Singapore Fashion Runway. Uh, they are opening up to special needs uh, people. So we said, yes, why not? So we felt that through Singapore Fashion Runway, he could be groomed. Uh, to be more graceful, learn uh, more etiquette, uh, mannerism, and the way of walking. When I heard about this fashion runway, and I actually did do a bit of research on it, and I had a look through it, I actually found it quite meaningful because it's not about just impressing, it's about you know people coming together to sort of express what they have. And anyone can be beautiful. You know, and it comes in many different forms. And um, all the kids on the photographs and things that I've seen, they look really happy. You know, and they're given the opportunity to express themselves. You know, and the parents get to, you know, you know come together. And, and that alone is inadvertently forming a support network. We have a special need uh, child. The responsibility is greater and the time lengthen to look after and bring up the special needs children. The biggest concern was to consider what is going to happen to him after we are gone. In that sense, the freedom is limited. You see, we can't do what we like. Um, I think as a society, if you know, there are help, you know, and this stems back to the system, so then they're not sort of left hanging on their own. Um, um, like I mentioned, in other parts of the world, you know, they have different systems running. And, and uh, in Australia, there's funding that, you know, be, be below the age of five, parents actually have the support to help, you know, in terms of um, providing these type of early intervention for their kids. 
if that system can change, you're actually allowing these parents to have a lot more freedom and time to sort of, you know, work on other areas as well, right? For the kids, you know, freedom could mean many different things. One of them is I, I like freedom to play with, you know, any toy I like to, you know, um, you know, the freedom of being able to sing or, and then all of which is uh, some form of expression of themselves, you know, and, and it's good, you know, and it, positive kids will feel like that they have the freedom to, you know, attain certain things. Right. And I think for, for parents and all that once uh, again, you know, to try and sort of allow them to have those freedom to ex express themselves. But if there's something they can, like this runway and all that, why not? If they're happy doing it, of course, you don't force them to do it. But if they can, then why not? Dance and perform happy. Actually, my freedom is that when I see Chok Hon uh, moving around with friends, you know, he's up on stage performing and everybody stand up, give him a standing ovation and, and he achieved it. And when he got it, I cried, but cried with happiness. We are parents feel happy, enjoy, so, so lucky. As long as, as a family, we enjoy amongst ourselves, uh, going out, uh, we do what we like to do. The special needs child is happy doing what he can do. Okay, 